There are quite a few different Microsoft 365 business subscriptions. So which one is the right one for you? And are you actually making the most out of the Microsoft 365 benefits that you're already paying for? In this video series, I'm gonna help you to answer that question. I'm also gonna give you some tips on how you can save money and avoid paying for licenses in some cases. Quick introduction, my name's Matt and I run a company called Labyrinth Technology. We help empower businesses with their IT and cybersecurity. You can find a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. First thing I'll point out is that you can actually have a mixture of different Microsoft 365 licenses in your environment. And this is something that I would actually encourage because you don't want to be overpaying for licenses that you simply do not need. For example, you might have different types of user. You might have an external contractor that you're working with. You might have shared resources like a scanner that needs an email address. They might not need the same level of license that your average employee needs. So it's important to look at each resource on a case by case basis and choose the most appropriate license for them. So Microsoft already has some really useful information to help you compare their 365 business products on their website. So if you put into Google Microsoft 365 business plans, and you'll see here there's a link to compare all Microsoft 365 plans. So if I click on that link and make sure you're on the business tab at the top, so you'll see at the top here, there are different options for pricing if you're paying annually or paying monthly. So the products we're gonna focus on for this video series is the Microsoft Business Basic, Business Standard, and Business Premium. In terms of the Microsoft Apps for Business product, this predominantly is just the Microsoft Office desktop applications. Um, so we don't see that used so often, um, so we're gonna just park that one for the time being. So the entry level product is Microsoft 365 Business Basic, um, and this includes your hosted mailbox um, using Microsoft Exchange Online. And so that is your email, um, and you get 50 gigabytes of storage for your mailbox. We've also got a bunch of other apps that come bundled in with it. So you've got Microsoft Teams, which is a unified communications platform. In a nutshell, that's instant messaging, video meetings, file sharing, and other collaboration features. We've also got Microsoft OneDrive, which is a file sharing platform Form, and you get one terabyte of cloud storage in your Microsoft OneDrive account. Typically, you're going to use that more for personal files rather than shared company files. You then get access to Microsoft SharePoint, and you guessed it in the name, Microsoft SharePoint is a place where businesses can share files. We already talked about Microsoft Exchange, that is your mailbox. In addition to that, you also get access to the web version of Microsoft Office, which is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So it's the web client of those applications. Um, now they do have some functionality limitations, but for really basic users, maybe part-time people that aren't using the computer that much, and they only really um, need to open Word, Excel, PowerPoint files and their emails, this is um, potentially an option that you could consider for them. So when we're moving up a level in these three Microsoft 365 business plans, they will always include everything in the previous plans. So Microsoft 365 business standard includes everything in basic plus some additional functionality and the Microsoft 365 business premium um, includes everything from basic and standard as well as some additional functionality. The biggest benefit of Microsoft 365 business standard over business basic is that you get the desktop version of Microsoft Office. So on your computer, you'll have the Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook app installed. You also get access to some other apps like Microsoft Loop. Now the Microsoft 365 business premium subscription is packed with value and that's why there's a bit of a price jump there between standard and premium. Now Microsoft 365 business premium is perfect for small business because it allows you to centrally manage your user accounts and your computers without having your own servers to manage them. And that functionality is delivered using Microsoft Entra ID and Microsoft Intune. Now, Microsoft Entra ID is Microsoft's identity management platform. Effectively, it's a place where all of your user accounts and all of your user account authentication policies are managed from one cloud portal. By using Microsoft Entra ID, you can join your computers to Microsoft 365 so that your employees have a seamless login experience. They will log into their computer 
computer using their Microsoft 365 account. It also gives you the ability to centrally manage those accounts. So if you've got a lever, you can block their account from Microsoft 365 and stop them from logging into their computer. Now, everyone that's using Microsoft 365 is using Entra ID to some extent to manage their user accounts. But Microsoft 365 Business Premium gives you access to Entra ID Plan 1, and that gives you enhanced management capabilities. For example, you can configure conditional access policies. And if your computer is joined to Entra ID, you can also configure auto enrollment policies for Microsoft Intune. Now, Microsoft Intune allows you to manage your devices. That includes mobile devices, computers, and it supports a whole range of different types of device like Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. It allows you to define minimum security requirements using something called a conditional access policy. So if you've got employees that are using their own mobile phones, for example, you can define minimum security requirements such as password protection and encryption of those devices before they're allowed to connect to Microsoft 365 without invading their privacy on their personal device. More importantly, though, it gives you the ability to centrally manage all of your company computers. You can standardize the configuration on them, you can standardize the security on them, and you can automatically push out applications and other settings. So it can really speed up the process for deploying your computers, but also when you want to make a change to your computers, you don't have to manually go around to each and every computer and make that change, which is going to cost you a lot of time and potentially cost you a lot of money. So it's one way of centrally managing and standardizing your device configuration and security. Um, additionally, you also get access to Microsoft 365 Defender, which is a email security tool. What it does is it helps stop you from accessing malicious content coming in via email. So it will help detect emails that contain phishing, emails that contain malware, or emails that contain malicious link or spam. It's a fairly basic product, and there are some more advanced tools out there, but it is included in the business premium subscription, so you may as well use it as a starting point. You also get access to something called Microsoft Purview, which is a security and compliance product. Um, it allows you to do things like apply sensitivity labels to documents and emails in Microsoft SharePoint and across Microsoft Office. Additionally, as part of Microsoft Purview included in your business premium license, you also get access to some really useful compliance features. For example, you get the ability to apply retention labels and retention policies, which can be really useful for dealing with legislation like the GDPR, because it allows you to define how long data is retained and flagged for deletion. You also get access to something called eDiscovery Standard, and that allows you to search for information across Microsoft 365 and export it. And that's particularly useful for dealing with things like a data subject access request, because it allows you to search for information using particular criteria and put a legal hold on it to preserve modified or deleted versions of that data. So there are actually quite a lot of other Microsoft 365 apps that are included in all three of those Microsoft 365 plans that we just looked at, and they're not mentioned anywhere on that page. And that's potentially why people are not aware of them or not utilizing them so much. But let's take a look at what they are. So on this website, it's called m365maps.com. We've got a full list of different Microsoft 365 business products, Microsoft 365 enterprise products, and we can see a full list of apps and features on the left-hand side, and there's a tick against which one is included in each of the different plans. If you go to microsoft365.com and sign in using your Microsoft 365 account, you'll see in the top left, we've got this little app launcher grid. If you click on that, you'll see a list of apps that are included in your plan. You can also search for them by typing in here. So I'll just open up Microsoft Bookings and you can use this to either create shared booking pages. Um, so maybe you're running some kind of event or you're running some kind of project and people need to book slots as part of that. Or perhaps you would like to manage your own calendar and allow people to just book a meeting with you and stick a link in your Outlook email signature 
to allow people to just book a meeting in any available slot in your calendar. So you can use Microsoft Bookings for this. A lot of people are not aware that they've got this included in all three of the Microsoft 365 business plans and they're not utilizing it. We're gonna do another video later to properly get stuck into this. But coming back to this page, if we scroll down, we've all, we can see that we've also got Microsoft Planner included in all three of those price plans. Now, Microsoft Planner, the clue is in the name, it's a way of helping you plan and manage tasks or small projects. So we use this quite a lot. It integrates with Microsoft Teams. So within your Teams, you can manage your planner board. Let's have a quick look at that. So I've just created this new Microsoft planner board um, using a project management template. Um, and you can really easily create tasks, drag and drop them around. You can assign them to people, set different priorities for them, add notes and checklists. It's really easy to use and it's a great way to manage tasks or projects within a small team. So you can add this to Microsoft Teams, as I said, and I'll be doing a video on this later in the series too, both in terms of using Planner as a standalone app and integrating it with Microsoft Teams. So here's my money saving tip for this video. For email accounts that are not used by a person, for example, a shared resource, consider whether they really need a license. Let's say you have a scanner that's using scan to email functionality and needs a mailbox. You can just purchase an exchange online plan one license, which gives you only email functionality and is cheaper than business basic. Or if you don't need to sign into the mailbox and just have people who already have a license needing to be able to access this shared email account, you can use something called a shared mailbox free of charge. You can also use shared mailboxes to archive levers and retain their data without paying for a license. So there's a lot of information to take in there. Let's summarize it. You've got the Microsoft 365 Business Basic subscription, which is your entry level product. That gives you email. That also gives you access to file sharing products like Microsoft OneDrive and Microsoft SharePoint. Uh, it gives you access to Microsoft Teams for instant messaging, for video meetings and team collaboration. And it also gives you access to the online version of the Microsoft 365 apps like Outlook and Microsoft Office. We've then got the Microsoft 365 Business Standard product and that gives you everything in basic plus the Microsoft Office desktop applications, Word, Excel, Outlook and PowerPoint. Finally, we've got the Microsoft 365 Business Premium product. That's something you should start really thinking about if you're 10 or more users and devices. And that allows you to centrally manage your devices, your user accounts, your security, and also gives you basic level of email security filtering to help protect your business. So which price plan is right for you? Well, there's no one size fits all approach here. And that's why Microsoft have these different products to suit different requirements. And it really does depend on your different requirements. Now, if you are a small business that has 10 or more users or devices, we'd really encourage you to start thinking about using Microsoft 365 Business Premium for that central device and user management functionality. But again, it does depend on your other requirements and what other systems that you have in place. So subscribe and follow along if you would like to take a deeper dive into these different products. Or if you would like to talk to me about which Microsoft 365 business subscription is right for your business, you can find a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. Please do not hesitate to reach out and I'll be happy to have a chat with you. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment with your feedback.